three. But there's just one trophy young Darren Barker can't put down. His gold medal from this year's Commonwealth Games. I knew from the start, even before I'd been picked, you know, if I was to go, I'd give it my best shot and I'd go there and aim for a medal. But to win the goal, you know, it was great. You know, I went there as an underdog, not expecting to do much, you know, but I always knew I had the ability to go there and do well, and that's what I've done. An outstanding achievement that's been recognised right at the top with a personal request from Mr and Mrs Blair. Yeah, I've got this invitation from the Prime Minister just to go and meet him, so hopefully I'll do the job against the Yanks, so uh, keep, him, keep him happy. But then Barker was always going to be a name to watch. My dad used to box, uh, my brother boxes now, my uncle boxes. My dad was ABA champion, um, my brother, he's won a schoolboy title, and you know, obviously me now, so it does run in the family. The 2004 Olympics in Athens are the next big target, and impressing the selectors starts now. Before I even started boxing, I've always dreamed of going to the Olympics, so now, <clears throat> now it's possible. That's what I want to aim for. There's a lot of pride at stake, you know, boxing against America, you, you know, you want to do well for the country and yourself. So I'm going to give it my best shot, you know, and keep, keep it rolling. Darren won his Commonwealth gold at light welterweight. He's up in the full welterweight division here, looking for his eighth straight win for his country. It's another Californian for the Americans here, Timothy Bradley, Jr., 19 years of age, relatively unexposed at this level. We know he reached the quarterfinals at this year's U.S. National Championships. Spencer and Adam again. Gentlemen, this is belt number four at 67 kilograms. Introducing in the red corner, representing England, Darren Introducing in the blue corner, representing the United States of America, Timothy Bradley! Barker in the red corner, Bradley in the blue. One of the stars of the England team here, everyone in the amateur game has huge hopes for 20-year-old Repton Boys Club technical boxer Darren Barker, one of our two golds in Manchester at the Commonwealth and desperate for a crack at the Olympics in Athens in 2004. That goal, a way off, first a move up to welterweight and uh, on paper, dangerous visitor in the stocky Timothy Bradley. Could be an entertaining blend of styles, this. Yeah, Darren Barker used to box again for my old amateur club. And Timothy Bradley, I know as well, boxes against my amateur club when they do their annual USA trip. I've seen him box on a couple of occasions. Short, stocky and very, very strong. Barker going to have to try and keep this one at long range. Barker very much the boxer. But it was at light welterweight, remember. What? that he fought and did ever so well in Manchester. He has had a fight up at the 67 kilogram welterweight limit the other week against the Army. He says he feels strong there and may go up even further as the years go on. Oh, he will eventually go up to light middle, maybe even middleweight Barker. It was only two or three years ago he was boxing for my amateur club and was probably weighing around light flyweight. He really has shot up in the last couple of years. Get that jab out and prevent Bradley Jr. from getting close on the inside. Look how big his shoulders are, the American. He's one year the younger at 19, Bradley. So Barker should have the experience to see this through. He's never lost an international for England. Yeah, boxed on seven different occasions for England. Never been beaten. Done well there in the first round. Everybody here, as always, enjoying the glitzy occasion of the England-United States amateur international. Nicely poised, the... Americans 2-1 up.
but Darren Barker, a hot favourite to level the tie here. Lovely work with the jab there from Barker. Really is his key weapon, Darren. Loves to box at long range. And Timothy's struggling to get inside. Good work keeping it at long range. The American falling short there and Barker counter punching excellently. Really has worked out this computer scoring. The 51st amateur contest in the successful career of England's Darren Barker. It's been likened to a young Richie Woodall. Timothy Bradley from Palm Springs in California, member of the Cathedral City Club, coached by his father. Good work on the outside, boxing on the move, Barker, and extending the lead. Yeah, boxing beautifully, Barker boxing so well behind that jab. Bradley stalking forward with his hands high, just can't work out the style of Barker. Picking up a handy lead here. Tries the jab, Bradley, but at 5-6 to Barker's 5-11. That's probably not going to work. It's a smooth display so far from Barker. Well, Tim to get him through with a good right hand there. Darren must be careful, must keep that left side tight. him up and hold Bradley get close maybe looking for the uppercut that would be a weapon against the tall sneaky Barker so far so good for England keeping America at bay and out of range here yeah, Barker working well on the outside. Goes for a wild uppercut, Bradley. The defence too has been good from Barker, who's very well schooled, firstly at Finchley and now at Repton Boys. His brother and father at ringside. Father Terry was the ABA light flyweight champion for Repton in 1980. It was the last boxer to win the junior and senior titles. Pretty impressive. Some of the excellent work from Barker in that round. Bradley struggling to cope with the height and reach of Barker. Barker mixing the shots up at threes and fours. And the American with no answer whatsoever. Falling short with the right hand again and Barker countering so well. Really has worked this computer Second. scoring system out so well. Round. Impressive display from the tall rangy 20 year old from Barnett. Darren Barker here. Looking to level the tie up to two apiece. What can Timothy Bradley offer? He was a quarter finalist in the, this year's US Championships. And he's got a win in the American Island fixture too. But at the moment he can't get close enough. And he's getting desperate and despondent. Well Bradley really trying to pick the pace up here. Trying to pile it on, but Barker keeping nice and cool, moving so well. Good right hand from Barker, who's fitting into the weight well too. Was a lightweight last year, a light welterweight in Manchester, and his coach Tony Burns thinks he'll end up at light middleweight. Should the amateur game keep that division? That's uh, under discussion at the moment. 
an 11-8 lead. Bradley's got a bit closer. And Barker has to keep his wits about him. And not let the American back. Well, doing the right thing here, Barker. Non-stop moving. A style like Bradley needs a man to stand with him. Very flat-footed. And he can't get off with the shots if Barker carries on moving. Landed a good right hand there though. Three. Seems to know the amateur game Stop. pretty well, Darren Barker. How to score points. Reminds me a little of the featherweight Stephen Bell, who's Stop. at ringside tonight and not fighting. That was the right after he was told to stop from Timothy Bradley. Who's pulled it back to 12-10. In a better third round from the American. Barker just taking his foot off the pedal ever so slightly. Yeah, there's lots of movement from Barker, but not throwing a lot of punches. He must be careful. He doesn't let this one slip. The American come back well there and expect a big last round. Well, it is a vital final round here in the welterweight contest because if Darren Barker lets this slip it'll be 3-1 to the United States and they've got a couple of big hopes to come especially at heavyweight some of the action in the last rounds Barker doing well but seem to drop the pace throwing one two and catching Bradley well with the right hand but Bradley pulled back and done his own work there was the shot after the referee called break. He was lucky he wasn't deducted points for that. Frustration more than anything, but competitiveness from the American. Four and last round. Final two minutes of yet another close fight between England's Darren Barker and America's Timothy Bradley. And it was an excellent start for the Englishman. Now he's got to close it in style and not let the marauding come forward tactics from the American to work. Well, Bradley now pulled it back to level pegging. We expected a good last round from the American being two points behind. Barker needs to start getting up with those shots. Terrific right there from Stop. Timothy Bradley. Has it edged Stop. him into the lead? It doesn't score. He'll need another one. Well, there it goes. Remember, five judges at ringside, three have to hit the button within a second of each other, and it looks like that right got through. Will it prove crucial? And Barker starting just to fall apart a little, and he's two down now. Well, he will be sick. Darren Barker, if he lets this slip, he was in such a handy lead box so well for two rounds. But Bradley really picked up the pace. Darren Barker been too busy moving and not throwing enough combinations. He said he trained ever so hard for this one. I just wonder if Darren Barker may be a little jaded after his long run in the Commonwealth. And even fighting that recent match at welterweight. He's three down. He needs to get these shots home in the last 20 seconds. Otherwise England could be staring defeat in the face. That's better. Solid right hand there from Barker, but has he left it too late? He's been too busy moving in this round, but not worrying about throwing any combinations. And Bradley, at the moment, a deserved leader. Just a few seconds left, and Bradley, who's come back so well. Barker's let it slip. Another right from Darren Barker. Another nip and tuck affair, but two, just as the bell goes from Timothy Bradley seals the win for America at welterweight Darren Barker's first defeat in an England vest and he will be sick well he started off with such a good start a nice few points in front Darren Barker allowed Timothy Bradley to come back into it Bradley since he was falling behind put his foot on the gas and Darren Barker spent too much time moving and not throwing those tremendous combinations which he did in the first two rounds.
Darren Barker knows he's lost it. Ian Irwin is shaking his head at ringside. They threw it away, didn't they? Yeah, they really did. Darren Barker, as I said, boxed beautifully for the first two rounds. Didn't seem to tire at all. Just tried to keep that lead, played too safe. Tried to keep moving all the time and let it slip. And it must be a very frustrating time. The one man you could bank on, said Ian Irwin. And he's been beaten. It's 3-1 to the United States of America. Is there any way back? Gentlemen, the winner with a score of 16-13, Bradley in the blue corner. There will now be an interval. We're really here for tonight, and that's the race. Do you look, let an early lead slip? I didn't know, to be honest, he was just a strong opponent and I didn't get it together. Uh, somebody no normally... Sorry. Sorry, it's a technical thing. Well, Darren, sadly... Well, Darren, sadly, you let an early lead slip for England. Yeah, you know, he, he just kept coming. He was an awkward opponent. Uh, normally, I could beat someone like that hands down, but I just didn't get it, get it together today. And, you know, I'll come back, and I know for a fact I could beat him any other day. I just didn't get it right today. He was very strong, but do you feel a bit flat after your achievements in the Commonwealth Games? No, not really. I've trained hard. I've had a bout since then and won. But, you know, he was just a strong opponent. I've just moved up, and if they're the sort of opponents I'm going to have, I don't think I've got any worries in the future. Your first defeat for England? Yeah, it is. You know, that's seven. It's the first loss, but you know, it's all learning experiences. So, can England still win this? Yeah, definitely. We've got some good fighters coming on next. So, um, yeah, I believe they can easy. Thanks, Dan. Thanks. Can you hear them at all? Because they reach. 